Hey y'all, today we're going to work on, uh, or sorry, we're going to break down and reassemble a Pen 9500 Spin Fisher V. So let's just hop right into it. I'm going to take the uh, drag off, I'm sorry, the spool off. And these are the two things I'll break down first. I'm sorry, this and the handle. So the handle just comes off by turning it. And to undo the handle, you just have to remove that screw that's there. While I do that, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button and let your friends know about the channel. You can also remove that um, <coughs> that rubber washer, rubber seal in there. I'm not going to remove it, but I will open this up because I want to get inside. At the end, when I uh, put this back together, I want to get inside there. So there's nothing a whole lot to do for the uh, knob, so we're gonna leave that alone. To break down the hand, um, the spool, we're going to open or take up the top part first by removing that clip. Keep your finger over it so it doesn't go flying anywhere. And just pull out that part. Then let's go to the bottom. Gonna need to remove these three screws to get the bottom drag off, and you got to be careful with these screws because they're uh, they're pretty soft. So I start with a slotted screwdriver, and then I go to the uh, Phillips. There's a seal in there that we can remove as well. And then we can push out this. And we'll take that out because it aids in us resetting this bottom drag. <coughs> The setup of the uh, drag is as such. Then we have a seal here as well that we can remove. You just want to be careful with these seals. When you take them off so you don't stretch them out too much. And then to remove the clicker, just push up on one end. And then you can lift up on the other, and it just comes out like that. Make sure we have all our screws. <coughs> Alright, so let's get to this part. <coughs> I was going to open the side housing. We have four screws to remove. And I don't know if I said this already, but I'm going to say it again just in case. This uh, reel has already been cleaned, so <coughs> all we're doing is breaking it down, showing you how to re lube it and oil it, and putting it back together while we do that. in here that I'm going to uh, 
<clears throat> I need to replace as well. I had already replaced some parts on here, but there were some additional things that I um, either I missed or felt afterwards should be changed. So then I have to order new parts and get those. All right, so to get the <clears throat> that side cover off, just gently, gently lift that up. And that's because there's a seal in there that we need to be real careful of. Just kind of work my way around to get it out. And just take your time with it. down undo these screws to get that shaft out of there and both of these screws I think were the same size yeah they're both the same length let's pull the shaft straight up <coughs> Now we can pull this main gear out. And then we pull this block out. I'm sorry, this crosswind gear out by moving that screw there. You have to be careful with these screws as well because the metal is on this is pretty soft. So you can kind of damage that by taking it out. I'm gonna replace the crosswind on this. Just a little bit of wear there. Uh, let's take the top off and then we'll work on these things afterwards. to remove this. <clears throat> and just pull it straight up. That ring comes out. This washer right here. So let's jump around a little bit for the block. We need to remove this screw on the side here. Uh, this screw is a different size than the one that goes into the crosswind gear. So I'm trying to keep those separate. And it's just a, a bushing. It's not a, a bearing in there. Let's take the bearing off the uh, gear. Uh, some of these there's a washer or a shim <clears throat> uh, I don't think I've ever seen one that did not have a shim but when we put it back together we're going to test it out and see if it needs one or not and this just pulls straight up of course easier said than done sometimes so let's kind of work them individually comes off like that. Uh, this has a couple of thick ones on the bottom and a thin one on top. <clears throat> Alright, so to remove this that bushing there, we need to pop off that clip. And this is pretty straightforward. It's, I think it's a lot nicer and easier than the uh, then the Eclipse and C clips of yesteryear. And just push it straight up and it comes out like that. Now we can undo this. 
guide for the uh, for the block. And now we can get to the top part. Let me go ahead and pull this bearing up first. Maybe not. I don't have my. If I have this. I can use this. But those bearings are the same size um, for each side here. Okay, let's get to the top. <coughs> Let's pull this up, and you kind of just want to be uh, a little bit aware of when you're doing this. Because there's a seal there that you don't want to damage. That's also us holding it in there or helping to hold it in there. All right, let's just pop this off. <coughs> it wasn't coming out the other way. Uh, and there's a spring on here that I'm going to replace as well. Uh, We'll take that off, but then I'll show you how it goes on. <clears throat> All right, so to remove this second dog, you have to undo this. Sorry, first you got to take that clip off. There's another one of those uh, nice little spring clips. That you can just remove pretty easily most of the time. And I don't think there's they are another the same size. <coughs> Pull that out, and then we can just unscrew this. A secondary spring or so spring that came off of this. I should have to reset that when we put it back together. And let's take the pinion and uh, <coughs> bearings out of there. Pull straight up. Last thing we have is the uh, that rotor brake there. Undo these two screws. Uh, sometimes the screws are the same length. Sometimes they're different. Uh, don't really know. Sometimes you just gotta see where they came from. If yours is different, that comes up. And then you can just lift this up. Sometimes these might be glued on as well, so you want to be cognizant of that. All right, so let's break this down. Got the bearing inside of a casing, like so. The AR, the inner race, and another bearing. And that's it. <coughs> Oh, let's do this, these little screws on this side. Oh man, these are tight. And there, there's a seal, I'm not gonna remove that seal, <clears throat> but I am gonna remove these uh, beauty thingamajiggies. These tend to cut, get corroded in there. So I'm going to open these up and 
put some grease around there to help it not get frozen. I am going to also remove the seal that's in there. Real gently. And the same for this one. These screws are all the same size <coughs> uh, for the left and right side. So I'm going to collect these. We should have six total. And these are both the same as well, so you can change those around. Let's get to the rotor and then we'll be done with this reel or I'm done breaking it down. <coughs> I'm going to loosen all these screws first. <coughs> then I'm going to use my trusty mini micro tool to undo all the screws. I'm going to hold this side on so you can kind of see what's under there. This side just <clears throat> this side just pops off. Both those screws are the same. And then for this side is where most of the magic happens. Be careful when you're taking it off sometimes. This can fly out on you. comes up like that that out <coughs> the trip arm out and that is it on that we can separate this it's just two pieces and then we can break the line roller down you can remove this end by twisting and pulling And this is how the line roller looks. You have a washer. There's a plastic washer inside there. Then the line roller with the bearing inside of it. Uh, when you're putting this back together, which we'll do in a sec, the deeper cavity faces towards the bale wire. All right, so that's how you break down a pen, uh, Spin Fisher V9500. I will stop this video and come back to you in a sec and show you how to put it all back together again. All right, so let's put this back together. Uh, I'm gonna start with the bail, <coughs> or the rotor and the bail, uh, since this is what we have in front of us. I'm going to grease in here. Along where that arm will sit. And in here as well. And around that post. It's a light amount of grease there. I'm going to do the same thing for over here as well. Up there. And put some over these screw holes. You know what's funny is I I, I do the uh, <laughs> these two, but I rarely do this one. I don't know, it's the silliest thing. I don't know. Anyhow, so let's get the line roller put on. I like to add grease there. I'm gonna stick the line roller on. 
then put some oil on it. I don't put a lot of oil on that. I'm going to grease inside here. Remember the deeper cavity faces towards the bail wire. Like that. <clears throat> I'm going to grease on the front and back of this. like so and also in here <laughs> and here where the screw sets or sits now we can just take this plastic washer stick it on the line roller washer and I'll sit inside here and put that screw through if I can pick it up Just screw it in. I don't lock this down the entire way yet. I want some flexibility in it because I'm going to stick it onto the rotor. Let's get our arm. Just a little bit of grease on it. Drop that in like that. The longer end will be facing down. Then I'll add a little bit of grease to the spring as well. It's really not a lot. And to this. Stick it in like that. And then we just put it in not tight yet, just loose and then cover it up. <clears throat> Don't go all the way down on this, just leave it a little bit loose for now. And I'm going to put our line roller on. So we're going to get that set down like that. And make sure you keep your finger over it so it doesn't uh, fly out on you. And you're looking for that hole to go over that arm, and that groove will fit over the trip, uh, the trip arm. Could add some grease inside there as well. And just gotta find the hole. And then just rotate it down. Once you do, once you do that, just go ahead and screw this in. And now you can lock this portion in as well. I'm going to add some, <clears throat> some oil inside here. And we're just going to stick this on. Got to make sure you guys can see it. And then just connect this part. Let's tighten the line roller up. Then we're gonna do a quick test on this. That feels good. So 
I'll tighten the rest of these screws down. That feels good. All right, so let's get to the top part. I'm gonna do the clutch and the uh, and the secondary and the reverse on this. I'm adding grease inside here where that housing is gonna sit, so it doesn't get stuck in there. Make sure I coat that pretty good. And let's take our pinion gear and grease that up. I like to grease everything on this. On with our first bearing. Add some oil to it. And now we can put our sleeve on. The sleeve is keyed. Um, there's two indentations on there, but they're they're equal, so it doesn't matter how you put it on. Let me wipe off this excess. Let's take on the AR clutch, and now we can grease this up and put that on as well. bearing inside and then oil that oh, the bearings uh, I think they're different I don't remember let's make sure you keep them in order if one bearing is larger than the other it's gonna go on top it's gonna drop that in there let me add some grease inside here as well where that pinion is going to sit. Then we can just lock that up. Add some grease there to these points. And then we're just going to set that down. So next we'll put on the the rotor brake and I'm going to add some grease inside here. grease that ramp there as well a 
get on over those holes and screw it in as we put this plate on top of it. And I'm just putting some residual grease on the plate. good <clears throat> now we can stick this in and then put our dog on I'm adding grease here because these tend to uh, get um, frozen in there Make sure it sets all the way down. And now we're gonna stick these pieces on. This uh that spring there was damaged, so I needed to replace that. So the way this dog is going to sit is like, sorry, <coughs> like this. You need to put this spring on. That longer part will be facing like this. With the short end on the bottom. And the longer end going through that groove right there. So I'm going to stick that on first. That spring, uh, the bottom of that spring sits inside the frame on this side of the, uh, that ridge right there. And we're just going to drop this in. Like so. Have to lift it up slightly to get it over a ridge that's uh, on the front side there and you want to make sure that fits that spring fits inside the groove just like that perfect let's put this clip on and you can usually do it with your finger and now we can put this other part on <clears throat> first we're going to set this inside um, the way I like to do it is I like to add it afterwards to this groove here and then set it down but that's essentially going to go over that like that so let's grease this up a little bit Then we're gonna stick our <coughs> spring on there. And that point is gonna be facing up. So it'll look like, like that. There's a corresponding hole on that piece right there so hopefully you can see that and that's going to fit over that that spring 
it'll look like this. Like that. Now I can stick this on and just rest it on on top of the uh, top of the pinion. And it looks like that. And that's essentially what happens to it. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and stick the rotor on because I'm going to start working on the uh, on the body of the reel. I'm greasing there and in here as well. Make sure that's in. And just find a groove and get it in there. We saw where that metal ring will sit if we can find it. And then just screw it in place. adding some residual grease to this and let's see if it fits all right stick some grease inside that hole where that screw is going to sit and then just screw it in Good. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and grease inside here where that bearing is going to sit. Just so I don't forget. Around here. On that ramp over there. And over here as well. I'm going to grease inside that hole where that sleeve will sit. And then I'm going to do the side house cover as well. add some grease on these points here and what we're going to do next is are these pieces these beauty pieces on here then we can work on the inside all right so i'm going to add some grease all around here Some on the inside here as well. And then we got to take one of our O-rings, our seals, stick that over like that. And you'll notice that there's three holes on one end and just one on the other, one of those three holes kind of corresponding. I'm going to stick some grease inside that one hole in the middle because nothing really goes there. 
just lay it over and screw it in. And then the same for the other side. All right, so let's stick one of these bearings inside over here and add some oil to it. Now we're going to start working on getting these things in. I'm going to put the sleeve in first after adding some grease to it. There's a ridged top to it. It's going to go top down, like so. And then this clip is going to go on it uh, from the bottom side. And again, these you can just kind of push with your fingernail, and they should go in. Adding some grease to this. Some there as well. And it'll be facing or looking just like that. That's good. All right, so I also changed up, uh, or I'm also changing out the uh, crosswind gear and block. So we're going to pull these things out and just kind of get those greased up. I don't want that 
block. There was like a little groove inside there. I think it was affecting it, so. All right, so we're gonna grease all these things up here. You wanna pay particular attention to the greasing on the bottom inside here. So you wanna put a generous amount there. good amount of grease around that post as well. good all right so let's get our crosswind gear on and where is our screw Screw that in. And now we're going to do our block and put that, uh, that bushing on to the side of it. All right, so we're gonna set that on and then we're gonna put our, looks like that, we're gonna put our shaft through and I'm gonna put a decent amount of grease down here and just a light amount above it. I'm kinda of just gonna rub that over my fingers. Uh, before I do that, let me open this up because I forgot to uh, do something up here. Uh, 
Uh, so let me do this really quickly. I want to add some grease to that ramp and a little bit of grease to the uh, the rotor brake as well. So I'm going to pop this out because it's going to fall out on me anyhow. Or might. I want to add some grease to this that ramp right there and I want to add some grease here as well to that brake that should be good All right, sorry about that. All right, again, let's just stick this back in. I want to set it towards the bottom. Then we're going to stick our main gear in. And then our shaft. Make sure the shaft feeds through the uh, block. And I think they can go through either way. And it has to go all the way down. screw it in. Just make sure it goes all the way down into it. All right, so now we can grease the back of this up. that groove where the uh, that seal will go just a light coat of grease going inside there going to lay that seal over it and you want to get to be careful with the seal you want to make sure you get it in there properly because you don't want to pinch it so you kind of got to just take your time and work it work it in there of course this is something you can do before you put the uh, the main gear in
being real gentle with this. It's difficult to see what I'm doing on camera or the kind of effort I'm putting into it, but there's not a lot of effort going on here. The goal is just to get it all set inside the groove so it's not pinching anywhere. stuck point there. There we go. Alright, that's set. So now we can add a little bit of grease on the ins inside here where that's going to sit on top of the, uh, the seal. And then just cover it up. Let's add our bearing, sorry. Hit some oil on top of that. And we're just going to cover that up, make sure the seal is fine. And it is. And you got to kind of pop this in sometimes. So don't be surprised if it feels like it's sticking on you. That feels good. Kind of want to work it from the bottom end up to to get that in. I'm just going to screw this in, and then we'll work on the I don't know the rest of the pieces. move that out of the way and then we'll just do the handle and then we'll do the drag. Add some grease inside here. I'm going to slip that up. Add some grease around here as well. some inside here. Now I'm going to add some grease to this hole where that screw is going to go through so that some of that residual can get onto it. Stick that in and put our screw in. Alright, so now I'm going to add some oil inside here, and just a little bit here, and here, then just spin it. Then we just cover that up.
All right, so let's get to the drag. We're gonna do the bottom drag first. And then we'll do the top. I'm going to do is grease the drag washers and then we can move on from there. Let's put a light coat of dry grease on this. Let's kind of work that in. Gonna add just a tad amount of grease on the inside of this for the clicker and somewhere around here where that that uh, seal is gonna sit drop that ring on over there so we don't forget it stick one drag washer in one plate and here we're gonna add some grease to help this thing stick onto it stick the uh, the clicker in and this doesn't really go I don't think it does actually yeah, it might it might be like that I think there's one smaller notch these two are longer than that one so that's how it should go stick this plate on there now we can stick this other drag washer in there All right, so basically all I'm gonna do is take the uh, the seal, just rest it on there. And then put that cover over it. Just on like that. And just stick it in like that. Make sure that um, the clicker spring fits into the groove. Because if it doesn't, it's going to hinder you from getting this drag plate on. It should generally just stay in there like that. Of course, this one's not being cooperative, so we'll just go ahead and work with what we have. And we just certainly don't want to do that. That just makes it more difficult to do it that way. So let me wipe that off.
I don't want any of that grease on there. Okay, so it's supposed to stay. So be kind and stay. Of course, it's not going to be kind. Okay, that's fine. We're going to turn this over like so and look through this hole here to find the groove. Like that. And that's why I removed this piece, just so we can see inside there. It's set already. So I'm going to stick this through it to make sure that my clicker is working. I can feel it. So that's good. Or it was good. There it is. I'm just going to rotate this to find the holes for the... Uh, the screws and I don't see any holes so there we go now we're just gonna make sure that stays down and we're going to add some grease to those points there Because these tend to corrode inside the uh, the spool. I'm gonna take our first screw and get that in. And I'm not gonna let this go. Don't tighten down the entire way yet. You want to get all three screws in first. So don't let it go either. Now once you've gotten it set. Okay, now you can tighten those down. Be careful you strip these screws. All right, so I'm just going to tighten them down with the uh, the flathead versus the Phillips. Now we can definitely put some grease around this seal right here. I personally don't think you need it, but it's as um, waterproof as it's going to be. Okay, now I'll stick this piece back in. Make sure it sets all the way down there. Add some grease to this drag washer and then just stick that in. Make sure the spring sits in that groove that's on the bottom there. You'll kind of see it kind of pop in there. Well, that looks good. And now we're going to add some grease to the outside. I'm 
that looks good. Okay, so let's just stick this on and test it out. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm missing something here. And we're missing our washer. Let's get the washer on. Remember these, there's two thick ones that go on the bottom or go below or on first. And the thinner one goes last. All right, so let's take this on and test it out. drag oh shoot just taking some grease inside where that uh, screw is gonna go for the handle then we're just gonna screw it oops wrong side right here let me stick that cap on so I don't don't forget it it out feels good the trip feels really good when these things kind of dry out that um, that rotor brake kind of dries out it just makes it very tough for this bale to trip or to drag along that and then trip so that feels really good good feeling real all right, guys, thanks for watching. I know that was a kind of a long video. I'm doing some videos where I just don't edit anything at all. So this is probably going to be one of those. Uh, so it may end up being a, yeah, it'll end up being a long video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, again, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let your friends know about the channel. And be sure to hit the like button as well if you appreciate the content. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.